Farmer Luke here. So, if you ask most people what do farmers do, most people would say plough fields. But what is a plough? Why do farmers use it? And how does it work? Well, hopefully in this exciting episode of Farmer Luke, I'm going to answer all them questions. So, I have my plough here. This is a five furrow reversible. There's two types of ploughs you can get, a reversible and a conventional. The conventional only has the one set of furrows, whereas reversible has two. So when you plough the field, the furrow turns over the existing crop and all the weeds and buries it, bringing up fresh soil for the next crop to be drilled into. So when you head down the field, the furrow turns the soil one way, and with a conventional plough, the farmer has to go the other side of the field and carry on ploughing. Whereas the reversible plough, you turn it over and you can go back down the same bit as you've just been down. So here we are at the plough. The plough consists of furrows. I have five. Some people have more, some people have less, depending on how big your tractor is. There's also a set of skimmers. There's a beam that holds it all together. And a depth wheel you can just see in the background. If you have a look at the furrow, this consists of a point, which breaks the soil up. You have a shear, which cuts the bottom of the soil. And then it all comes up as it goes along over the mole board. And as you can see, the mole board is slightly curved. So when the soil comes up, it's turned over by the mole board. Now that leaves what we call a furrow. Now the next one comes along and does exactly the same thing and folds the soil into the hole or the furrow that we just left. The skimmer skims in any of the top trash that's been left by the previous crop so everything's buried so the next crop has a good fresh start. Now the depth wheel as I mentioned that just keeps the depth of the plough so when we put it in the ground all the furrows are ploughing at the same depth even when we come back down the field it continues a consistent depth. So let's have a look at the plough in action. enjoyed that any comments questions just leave below it or message me and I'll answer them and I hope everyone learned something thank you all for watching I'll see you again next time